Temps, East Flanders, Belgium. Mark de Kock. Racing Pigeon Fancier. Temps, in East Flanders and in the shadow of the capital of the Wasland, St. Nicholas. Home of Mark de Kock. He then lived in another house and his pigeons stayed in the former stables. From equestrian sport to pigeon sport, a small step for Mark. A lot has happened in the meantime. In business he built an empire in the meat industry, and in the pigeon field he skyrocketed like a comet. Labeled by Emile Dennis as one of the golden boys of the Belgian pigeon sport. In 2002 Mark managed to make the pigeon news by buying one of the best pigeons in Belgium. It was he who managed to get the first national from Barcelona this year. The Red Barcelona, flown by J.P. Bogaerts, is in Mark's breeding loft. The golden boy from Thames strikes again. Will he still be able to stop in the future? Mark is currently the third generation at the top of the Belgian meat products industry. Grandfather Charles de Kock opened a butcher's shop in 1935 and was the founder of the company. Father Joseph continued to expand the company. The pigeon sport grew with it and was expanded far beyond our national borders. Mark's original hobby was equestrian sport, trotting in particular. Until 1985 Father Joseph de Kock owned the renowned trotting horses Jail du Vivier. Son Mark achieved 21 victories in the sulky. In 1984, however, father and son said goodbye to the trotting sport and plunged into the pigeon sport. They were already active in the pigeon sport under the name de Kock and Son, but from now on they invested heavily. The Japanese and Taiwanese were amazed at the sale of the world-famous 167 of Marion Petersa and the golden couple of Jan Brokes for Mood Turnhout. They were golden purchases that marked the start of the success. The 167 was sold for 600,000 BFRS. Bought but turned out to be worth the money. He was used to breed stallions, they come from equestrian sport, and when father and son de Kock had bred 50 youngsters with this expensive youngster, he was sold on. That's how it works in the business world, but in the meantime that clapper had left his mark on the pigeon colony. Two grandchildren out of 167 won first provincial Bourges 4284 pigeons and first provincial Brive 1472 pigeons in eight days. Mark had only been playing in his own name for two years at the time. His father Joseph de Kock had decided in 1987 to continue playing middle distance under his own name, while Mark had ambitions for further distances. The own base was supplemented with top purchases because Mark did not go to sales to watch. He wanted the best and the price was subordinate to the quality. The first long distance purchases came from Herman Brinkman from Tuck, Netherlands, later on. The current stock pigeons de Pintilon, de Granzenblas, and the Rambo, together with the more than 100 direct Janssen pigeons, prove that Mark can not only buy national winners but also breed them himself. That is not given to everyone. During those winter months he won the Olympiad Flight Grand Prix in South Africa. Participating in one loft races abroad is another passion of Mark de Kock. This started with winning a car in the $1 million race in South Africa in 1998. Meanwhile, Mark still participates every year with great success. To tackle this professionally, he entered into a partnership with a few people. Eric Limborg, Guy Slu, a South African friend, and Mark himself built a breeding loft in South Africa. Both fanciers supplied some of their best breeding pigeons to provide this loft with good varieties. The winner of the Million Dollar Race 1998, a youngster from this race won no less than $6,000 in the semifinal race in 2002, was bought and also the second prize of 2001. Geis cares for and breeds from this excellent material. The boys are used to participate in the Million Dollar Race. This way the two months of quarantine can be avoided. It is pigeon hobby of another dimension. Mark de Kock goes for it. The beautiful pigeon accommodation once again testifies to the professionalism. The loft is 70m long and painted snow white. Between the green grass it is a lot of fun. The loft is completely made of Canada wood, 
there is a corridor for the pigeons and the ventilation is regulated via sliding doors in the roof. An adjustable electric heating ensures a constant temperature. There is perfect hygiene because there is a transport bench under the living boxes, but a few loft caretakers are cleaning and vacuuming all day long. The new caretaker Mark Berms takes care of this daily care. In 2002, 25 old widowers, racing Brivco or Barcelona Perpignan, 20 yearlings flying to Beziers, 30 yearling widowers for the light long distance and 250 youngsters were ready for departure. The breeding pigeons are all coupled on November 25th. Their first eggs are moved so that the second laying is not long in coming. A third round of youngsters then follows naturally. A first selection takes place when the young are only 14 days old. 14 days later, a second-hand inspection follows in which the model and the innate natural resistance and health are important. Some of the early youngsters are not darkened and are raced until Bourges. The other youngsters are darkened and race the other national races for youngsters. Only the best cocks will be widowed. The selection is tough. All widowers are coupled together with the breeding pigeons on November 25th. The eggs of the best old widowers are immediately after laying, moved among the yearlings and their partners are allowed to lay a second time. Now they are allowed to raise this brood, the eggs that follow are then moved again. Now among feeding couples. In this way mark six early youngsters from the best widowers. Just before the season they are allowed to breed for a few more days. After the heavy racing season, they can breed another round. Mark is clearly not in favor of dry widowhood. He wants to select, both in the racing loft and in the breeding loft. Another hobby horse of his are vitamins. As few antibiotics as possible and as many vitamins as possible, he says. In the horse environment I also worked a lot with vitamin preparations and I can also use this knowledge in pigeon sport. It is important to know what, when, how. A. Pigeon's liver is very important. The best way to detox or relieve the liver is with Cetacol or vitamin preparations that contain a lot of vitamin B. The respiratory tract should contain as little mucus as possible and for this I use products based on Swanaville. One month before pairing lots of vitamins E and a cure against Trichomonas. In the run-up to the new season, a five-day cure against Trichomonas for widowers and youngsters. Just before the start a five-day cure against Trichio and head diseases. After these cures always multivitamins. Mark does not stand still. Mark de Kock had bought the national winner of Barcelona, the Red Barcelona, of J.P. Bogaerts. This super pigeon and picked it up a few days later. With this purchase he continues his ambitions for the extreme long distance. For a large sum of money, he managed to acquire one of the best Belgian long distance clappers. This national winner is no fluke. It is a beautiful victory achieved by a class pigeon. And the rest is history. Marc de Kock not only manages top results on the lofts in Thames, but also in many other places each year.